everyone, my name is Billy and welcome to Homescape Realty House Tour. Now today we are going to be taking a look at this beautiful modern industrial house right here in Marikina City. But before anything else, don't forget to click subscribe and check out our social media accounts as well as our website that's homescaperealty.com.ph. Now this house has a frontage of 14 meters and is oriented facing south. This house is actually a great location because it's located in the highest peak or highest point of SSS Village. So guys, no flooding here. Lalo na uh, kapag umuulan ng malakas, wala kayong mararamdaman na flood. Even during Ondoy, there was no flooding at all. Now, let's take a look at the facade of this house. Would you take a look at that? Sobrang ganda. Again, modern industrial. Lots of clean lines. Uh, very elegant, very classy. There's a lot of neutral colors that you can find in this house. You have the white, you have the black, of course, meron tayong silver or yung metal, and you also have that accent color over there. Now, we have your black tile cladding here as well. And by the way, guys, number eight ang um, number natin sa house na ito. So it's very lucky, especially sa Chinese culture. This is your service gate. Let's take a look inside. You know what you guys, I also like the location of this house because before lagi kaming pupunta sa may Lilac Street, madaming kainan doon. It's really uh, a bustling place filled with lots of food and lots of fun things to do. So perfect location. Anyway, so this part over here to the right side is our carport. Makikita nyo na may ramp siya for easy parking. You also have a few steps which leads to your main door but we'll check that out later. Dito muna tayo sa carport. Now, to the right side of our service gate, you have your three-car carport. So again, this can fit three cars comfortably. Now, you have your gray tiling over here as well as your gray tiles on the wall. And the great thing about uh, all this texture is it adds drama to this whole space. And speaking of drama, when you take a look up, you have your grid ceiling design in black as well. So again, mas nagiging modern yung itsura ng bahay natin, especially here sa carport. Now you have your gray tiling over here as well as your gray tiles on the wall. And the great thing about uh, all this texture is it adds drama to this whole space. And speaking of drama, when you take a look up, you have your grid ceiling design in black as well. So again, mas nagiging modern yung itsura ng bahay natin, especially here sa carport. Now if we head on over to the right side of your carport, you see here, meron kayong access to the female staff quarters as well as the service area and of course your swimming pool, which we will look at later. And syempre, we have a lot of plants here sa mga plantito and plantita. All these plants are gonna be yours if you plan to purchase this house because everything that you will see, all the furniture, all the plants, it's all yours kasama yan sa bahay if you plan to purchase. Meron tayong hanging swing, tas parang ano siya eh, teardrop design. So very intricately designed and it's very comfy as well. Susubukan ko upo, sana hindi mahulog. <laughs> no, so matibay naman siya, right? And you know what the thing with this is, you can move it around. So if you want to fit more cars nga, ba? Kasi three-car carport, pwede nyo siyang tanggalin, lagay nyo sa third floor. At again, mamaya titignan natin yung third floor. Now moving on to the left side of the house. This is a very interesting part kasi meron tayong staircase papuntang second floor at saka ng third floor. So imagine, kunyari may nakalimutan ka sa kwarto mo, instead of going all the way down, passing the living room, you can just go straight ahead or straight down. So I think that's very convenient. And if you have guests over, and kunyari meron kayong party sa taas, you can just lead them all the way up there without passing the living room. Kasi syempre, maingat tayo ngayon, di ba? Given our situation. We also have a plant over here, and we have access to your pool area. And again, uh, the whole feel of the house is modern industrial, as I've mentioned a while ago. So you can also see that in the handrails over here. So black metal siya. So very sleek and sophisticated. And now we're gonna make our way over here to the pool area. Now over here, you have your water pump. So nakatagu siya para hindi eyesore. And then you have your powder room outside for your guests. Let's take a look. 
So very simple lang naman itong powder room. So you have all the necessities that you need. Meron tayong water closet, of course your sink, as well as your mirror. And syempre malinis siyang tignan dahil white nga. And nagbibigay accent lang yung tiles natin sa sahig. Now we have reached your pool area. So it's a perfect place to relax. Narinig nyo na nga yung tubig, diba? So ito na siya. It's 2 by 15 meters. So pwede siyang lap pool. You can do your morning exercise here or if you want to relax dahil nga mainit sa Pilipinas, pwede kayo mag-relax dito with your family or your friends. Maybe have a little pool party. We have your ceramic tile flooring. And syempre, itong part naman ng pool ito, non-skid siya. So don't worry about falling or slipping, you're good. We have a bench over here. So it's a nice, cute design. So, siguro pag meron kayong mga anak, diba, pwede kayo umupo dito. Bantayan nyo sila habang nagsiswimming sila. Now, to the right, you have an accent wall which adds a bit of color, a pop of color. Kasi it matches our doors right here which has access to the living space inside. So, tangile wood ito, matibay. You also have your light fixtures surrounding the whole place. Kasi syempre, pag madilim, gusto mo ng ambient lighting and enough light, you know, to see it when it's dark, of course. And then you have a window over here, and I believe that this is the kitchen. So later, we're gonna check that out. Hindi kasama itong bike na to. <laughs> and then you also have some outdoor furniture over here. So maybe this would be a good spot if you guys wanna have coffee in the morning, maybe have some good conversations with your loved ones. This would be it. And of course, um, at the end of this area over there, you will see na meron tayong shower. So after you take a dip in the pool, or before you take a dip in the pool, you guys can take a quick shower para fresh. And last but not the least, meron tayong bamboo surrounding this area just for some added privacy. Now let's make our way to the service area. So this right here, this is your auxiliary kitchen slash service area slash laundry area. So, madami kang pwedeng uh, gawin sa space na ito. Let's start with this right here first. This is a really cool uh, aspect of the house. Ito yung barbecue pit. So, brick barbecue pit. Sa mga mahilig mag-ihaw-ihaw, this is the one for you. So, convenient rin siya. And, you know, syempre, it adds a little rustic feel to the whole modern vibe of the house. Let's take a look at your flooring. Napakaganda ng flooring natin dito. Nag-iba na siya, diba? From the pool area. So, may, may texture. It adds a little bit of texture to this whole space. Of course, you have your countertop. And not just one, but two countertops. So, ceramic tiles siya. So, sabi ko nga, madaming pwedeng gawin dito. They really made good use of this space. You have one sink over here. And another sink over here. So yan, pwede kayong maglagay ng stove dito. And dito ginagawa yung mga heavy duty cooking. So pag may party kayo, this is gonna be the busiest place in the house. And by the way, do not worry na mauulanan kayo kapag nagluluto dahil covered ang ating space. And we also have the bamboo again that I was talking about a while back just for some added privacy. You have a window that overlooks the kitchen. So... Kapag nagluluto kayo dito or naguhugas ng pinggan, pwede niyo rin tignan kung ano yung nangyayari sa loob ng kitchen niyo. And syempre, meron din tayong laundry station or drying rack. Over here, we have some lights, light fixtures, and we have your washing machine. So what's great about this house is, you know, it really makes use of a lot of space, good use of a lot of space that it has. Like this long hallway right here, this can be your drying area. So, meron ka na nga doon sa likod, meron ka pa dito. It can also be a parking space for your bikes or your motorcycles. Makikita nyo mamaya, merong motorcycle doon. Pero, kaya hindi po yun kasama ng bahay. And over here, we're gonna take a look at it later. Pero, ito naman, this is the access or the door to your auxiliary kitchen. So, we have... One at the back and another one here. So outdoor cooking and indoor cooking. What more can you ask for? Now from this part of the house, we're gonna make our way to the front door. But let's take a good look at all the details of this house. As you can see nga dito, um, it really has a lot of black steel uh, materials, especially with this door. Lots of modern lines, lots of clean lines. So there, makikita natin na modern industrial talaga yung vibe ng bahay na ito. All right, now let's make our way to the front door.
Now, I really believe that every house needs a very eye-catching main door or main entrance. And I think this one really fits the bill. So, makikita natin that it has this black tile cladding that kind of frames the whole archway or frames the door. So, it adds a little bit of drama to the whole main entrance. You also have your viewing panels with grills inside. Now, very intricate the yung design. And then, you have this massive um, tangile wooden door. So matibay talaga siya, very good quality, and you have your metal pull. So from afar, it will really strike you as an elegant piece of the house. And now it's finally time to check what's inside the house. Let's take a look and welcome to your new home. Entering this house, you will be greeted by this printed tile flooring. So again, may impact ka agad pagpasok na pagpasok nyo palang because this is gonna be your foyer or your receiving area. So you can see that it is surrounded by a lot of windows. You have one over here, one over here with grills. We were talking about this viewing panel allows a lot of light to come in, and you also have. This right here, a glass door, which leads you to your carport. And, syempre, meron tayong cove ceiling design. And again, all the furniture that you will see in this house is yours if you plan to purchase it. Like this space-saving set. O, diba? Kala nyo table lang siya. Pero, it's also a seating area. Let's take a look at the rest of the house. Now, from the foyer or the receiving area, a few steps and then you will make it to your living room. So, this is your formal living room. Napakadaming space. And the great thing about this house tour, guys, is I don't need to imagine kung saan ilalaga yung furniture. Kasi parang meron na kayong guide, diba? Again, the furniture na makikita nyo dito, you have two options. Either you purchase it with the furniture or purchase it without. So, don't feel pressured at all. So, we have your. Ceramic tiles with marble design. Yan yung flooring natin. Again, ito yung space for your couch. You have this huge mirror over here. And then you have your split type air conditioning unit. And napansin ko rin sa bahay na to or sa living room. It's mataas sa laging ceiling natin. So you can see na meron siyang cove ceiling design for added height. And you have two windows over here overlooking the carport, also adding additional light to the space. So press ko na nga maaliwalas pa. And syempre, meron din tayong access to your pool area, which we looked at a while ago. So, this is bedroom number one here in the first floor, or the ground floor. So, good space. Pwede siya gawing den as well. But it can also be a room for the senior citizens. Kasi syempre, pag nahirapan na umakit ng stairs, mas bagay naman sila dito para hindi sila mahirapan or hindi hassle for them. So, you have your bed over here. You have your split-type air conditioning unit. You have lots of light sources as well. So this is your ensuite toilet and bath. Again, a very simple bathroom, but really does the job. Clean, minimalist. Tapos meron siyang pop of color because of the tiles. So same tiles siya as what we saw outside on sa powder room, malapit sa swimming area, swimming pool. You have your shower, of course, and then meron ka yung water closet, your mirror, as well as your sink and a mirror to the right side of the bathroom. Now we are gonna make our way to the kitchen. So from the bedroom, you're gonna pass the living room. And over here, dito yung kitchen natin as well as our dining area. So pagdating natin dito sa part ng house ito, medyo open concept siya, no? Unahin muna natin itong dining area. So you have your light over here. You have your light fixture over here, and this is gonna be your dining area, place for your table and your chairs. Of course, uh, sample lang naman to, just to give you an idea on how to dress this place up. Again, all the furniture that you see here, optional, whether you wanna buy it or not. 
So this is actually a six-seater dining table, but I feel like you can go up to eight or ten or maybe even twelve, but that's kind of pushing it. So maybe let's go for eight or ten. So kasha dito, kasi nga malaki, malawak yung space natin. Great thing about this house, daming storage. As you can see, sa ilalim ng stairs, ginawa nilang storage area to. So you can put a lot of things here via these cabinets. And then we have your split type air conditioning unit. This is your access to the auxiliary kitchen and the female staff quarters, but we're gonna take a look at that later. Dahil uunahin muna natin ang paborito kong part ng bahay, ang ating kitchen. So the great thing about open concept or uh, living spaces is parang ang ano lang niya, ang breezy tignan ng buong bahay. There's a good airflow and syempre pwede kayo makipagkwentuhan habang nagluluto kayo dito, kumakain yung family nyo. Or while your kids are having breakfast here or over there, you can, you know, be talking to them and having good conversations. And that's why it's so wonderful. Well, here in the kitchen, you have your island countertop. So this is made of quartz. It's quartz finish. And of course, pwede rin siyang breakfast nook. Meron nga siyang tatlong stools dyan. You have your gas range over here, your range hood, and you have your modular cabinet surrounding the whole area. So lots and lots of storage, lalo na sa mga mami dyan na mahilig magluto. This is gonna be the perfect kitchen for you. Also, lots of counter space as well. You can put, again, ito nga, meron tayong air fryer, meron tayong coffee maker, even your Nutribullet, meron sila. You have your huge sink. Heavy duty sink, lalo na pag big families or may mga handaan kayo. You don't need to worry about sink space because this house has definitely got it. And we have more storage space over here. If you pull this, ayan. Pero hindi nakasama yung pagkain. Kanya kanyang grocery tayo dito. <laughs> and you open it up. This is where you can place your plates or your pots and pans. And you also have your refrigerator over here. Now, let's take a look at your auxiliary kitchen, aka your dirty kitchen. So, over here, nag na yung flooring natin. So, may contrast talaga siya. It really separates itself from our kitchen. You have your L-shaped counter, ceramic tiles, with your sink. So, I like this L-shaped um, countertop for easy movement. So, everything that you need is gonna be right here. You don't have to move too much. And then, Dito meron tayong female staff quarters with a bunk bed. So it's a good size. There's also a window. And over here you have your bathroom for your female staff. So we're done with the kitchen. We're done with the dining room. We are done with our auxiliary kitchen as well as our female staff quarter. You know what? We're done with pretty much the whole ground floor. It's time to take it upstairs. It's time to go upstairs. So this is going to be your staircase going up to the second and the third floor. It is made out of tangile wood. Same material as our main door outside as well as our glass doors leading to your pool area. And syempre, meron din tayong tempered glass dito. And alam naman natin na very good quality on tempered glass at matibay talaga ito. Let's go upstairs. So making our way to the second floor, uh, parehas pa rin yung tiling natin, yung flooring natin from the first floor. It's still ceramic tiles with marble design. Now, this uh, second floor, it has a total of three bedrooms, including the master bedroom and one common toilet and bath for the whole floor. And over here, let's start with your family area. So, this is a good place na makipag-bonding with your family, even your friends, if you have your friends over. As you can see, this is how they dress. The owners of this place, this is how they dress it up. You have couches over here, uh, a table, and of course, meron tayong TV or entertainment area. Meron tayong balcony rin here. Actually, this is um, an access to the stairs outside. So, pahabayan. We'll check that out later. At yung mga sapatos dito, mahilig siya sa Kobe shoes, Kobe fan, Jordan fan, hindi po yan kasama sa bahay. So hanggang tingin lang tayo. All the personal items in this house is not included. Now let's make our way to bedroom number one. It's right here. 
So bedroom number one was actually converted into a walk-in closet by the owner. So if that's something that you plan on doing or you're interested in, puede rin yon. But yeah, this is the bedroom. As you can see, very standard bedroom. It's a good space, good size. Meron tayong split type air conditioning unit. nag na rin yung flooring natin. So parang wooden design siya, pero still tiles. And you have your corner window, which allows a lot of sunlight and air to circulate here in this room. Now before we take a look at bedroom number two, tignan muna natin yung common toilet and bath. So as you can tell, a lot of the bathrooms in this house are pretty similar in design. So we can still see the same tiles on the floor as we did uh, sa baba, sa ground floor natin. We also have your shower, your water closet, your pedestal sink, as well as this mirror and this rack where you can store your towels. So very simple, ang design niya, minimalist, simple, and very clean. Now from the common toilet and bath to the left of it, is your bedroom number two. Again, katapat lang siya ng bedroom number one. So, magkapit bahay silang dalawa. Let's take a look. So, bedroom number two is similar to bedroom number one. Pero ang difference lang nilang dalawa is this one has its own toilet and bath, which we're gonna take a look at later. So, it's a good space, uh, it's a good size. Again, yung layout nito na dinesign ng owners natin. Dito yung kama, meron tayong corner window there. We also have your light fixture as well as your split type air conditioning unit. And our owners, they also put a TV here, which I think is a good idea. And you have your storage here. But again, everything in this room, everything in this house is totally customizable depending on how you want to fix it up. Let's take a look at the ensuite toilet and bath. Very similar design. We have your tiles, parehas pa din yung tiles natin. You have your white tiles in the walls. A window at the end, you have your shower, you have your water closet, and a rack over here, storage rack on top of your water closet. You have your pedestal sink as well as your mirror. So we're gonna pass our family area. And right here, solo solo na yung spot na to. This is your master bedroom. So welcome to your master bedroom. And grabe pang master talaga itong kwarto na to. Napakalake. And sobrang maaliwalas siya. Again, uh, you can fix this place up however you want it to. So you have your cove ceiling design. So it makes the place look so much bigger, but it's already big. And over here behind these curtains, you actually have access to the outside. So this is a glass sliding door. They put their bed over here. You have your entertainment area or your TV, as well as some bookshelves. Siyempre, meron tayong split type air conditioning unit. And, really cool thing, you have two walk in closets, so his and her. So, hindi magawa yung magasawa natin. <laughs> Let's start with this one. So, checking out the first walk in closet. So, they used it actually as a storage room. So, madaming gamit ngayon. But imagine all the things you can do with this space. So, para na siyang maliit na kwarto. Actually, hindi nga siyang maliit eh. And over here is the second one. Let's check it out. This is also the master toilet and bath. So, this is gonna be the first walk-in closet and also the master toilet and bath. So, again, you know, it really feels like a room in itself. Kasi nga, ang laki, ang daming space. You have a window over here, lots of storage space. You have all the bags that you need. You can place it all here. Siyempre, yung mga bag na to hindi kasama. Again, personal items po yan ng owners. But yeah, you can, you know, you can uh, get ideas from how they fix this place up. And over here, you have your toilet and bath. So again, very similar to all the other bathrooms that we saw. Same tiles on the floor. You have a window a shower, a rack on top of your water closet. You have your pedestal sink as well as your mirror. So from the second walk-in closet, we're actually gonna make our way outside. So just a little, you know, run through of our path, the path that we took. Um, we came from here. So that was the entrance to the master bedroom. This is your glass sliding door, which has access outside. 
And right here, straight ahead, we have this mini office area slash seating area. So, napakalaki nga na itong master bedroom. It also has access outside. So, nakikita nyo merong CCTV dito for added security. And then, we have your split-type air conditioning unit, co-ceiling design, this huge window, floor-to-ceiling window, which takes up the whole wall. So, lots of light coming through. You have your seating area as well. So, pwede kayo magbasa ng newspaper kung may nagbabasa pa ng na newspaper in the morning dahil lahat online na. So, pwede kayo magbasa ng newspaper dito or you can read or maybe have a cup of coffee in the morning. You know, a place for you and your significant other to relax and chat. And over here, via this glass sliding door, we have your balcony. So, this is gonna be your huge balcony. And when I say huge, guys, take a look at all the space. Meron ang space for exercise equipment. We have your grid ceiling design in black as well. So very reminiscent of what we saw downstairs in the carport. You have lots of plants, light fixtures surrounding it as well. And you have your tempered glass here, as well as your black steel handrails for that modern industrial vibe. And the balcony extends all the way over here. So, grabe, ang ganda ng simoy ng hangin dito. Alam nyo, pwede kayong maglagay ng outdoor furniture. Pwede kayong maglagay ng tables and chairs. If you wanna, you know, have merienda with your kids here, this would be the perfect place. Now, instead of going back inside, instead of using the staircase inside to make it to the third floor, Let's, you know, spice things up a little bit. Let's use the staircase outside. So guys, kung natatandaan nyo, diba, I was talking about a staircase sa baba leading to the second floor and the third floor. Well, ito na nga yung second floor na yon. That was our staircase. That was what I was talking about. And this over here is like a mini balcony, uh, so to speak. So you have a view of your pool area. So imagine, like, swimming yung mga bisita nyo dyan or birthday party mo, gusto mo mag-grand entrance dito ka mong gagaling, masusilip mo yung mga bisita mo sa baba. Or your kids, you can look after them while they're swimming as well. And over here, this is your staircase going to the third floor. Let's go! So now we have reached your third floor, aka your roof deck, aka your guest house, and I will get to that later. Pero unahin muna natin itong roof deck. So dito, this is gonna be the perfect place for your parties dahil nga, you know, it's safer to have parties outdoors. Ito na yon, this is the space. Take a look at all the space that you can utilize. You can set up some tables and chairs here. You can even have, you know, a buffet table. And you can spruce it up and make it nice for your guests. You have the view of the village as well as your black steel handrails surrounding the whole area. Siyempre, may mga plants na rin tayo, but again, everything else is customizable. And now, we're gonna make our way to what I like to call the guest house. So this is, let's say, this receiving area of your guest house. Of course, the owners put a table here, so you can also um, do that yourselves as well. So you can eat here in the space. Lots of windows. You have one big window here and three other ones here plus this glass sliding door right here. Now let's take a look at the inside. So before anything else, let's take a look at your bathroom. So as with all the bathrooms in this household, you have the same flooring, nice clean tiles on the walls, you have your shower, your water closet, a window, a rack on top of your sink, a mirror, and your pedestal sink. Now, let's take a look at the bedroom here in this floor, in this guest house. Alam mo guys, para siyang condo talaga. Yun yung nafe-feel ko sa area na to ng bahay. Ito yung bedroom natin. So, this can be a guest bedroom, I'm assuming. So, you have your bed over here. You have three windows. One, two, and three. So, very similar design siya as the bedrooms we saw downstairs. Parang magkaparehas rin yung size niya. And we have your split-type air conditioning unit. And you also have your light fixture as well as lights in every corner of the room. So this is really a good space for your guests. Pwede sila dito. Now let's take a look at the kitchen. 
So this can be a kitchen slash dining area as well. Uh, you have your window over here and your corner window here overlooking the village. You have your sink and some storage space here as well as on top. And ginawa rin nila tong uh, storage area but I'm sure that you can fix this place up. Really, really good space. And diba sinabi ko nga, sa roof deck, pwede kayo mag-party dito, pwede kayo magkaroon ng preparation area. So, dito nagluluto, tapos ihahain na lang sa labas dahil meron rin tayong access to the roof deck. That was our house tour of this beautiful modern industrial home here in Marikina Village. Really great space, three floors, and you have this amazing roof deck as well. Now, if you are interested in this house, please don't hesitate to contact us using the numbers below. And don't forget to click subscribe and check out our social media accounts as well as our website. That's homescaperealty.com.ph. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Billy, and this has been Homescape Realty House Tours, your guide to your real estate needs. I'll see you guys again soon.